Hi, my name is Dennis McCall from School Websites Ireland and in today's video we're going to look at one of the services that we offer to earlier settings in Ireland and that is our Summer Camps Online Booking and Payment Solution. This can be applied to camps but it could also be applied to any other type of class booking system that you need online as well. So the easiest way is to just look at a live example first and then we'll run through what we'll cover in the video. So one of the schools that we uh, look after is Horizons Montessori in Dublin. They have two locations in Temple Oak and Turnier. And uh, for half the year, you'd see this section here on their homepage. This is the website that we built for them. And uh, from about January to August, um, you would see this headline here. Uh, and this section would highlight their summer camp. Uh, you'd click here to go to their summer camp page and their summer camp also features down here in their services uh, listing section uh, down here on the homepage. So once you click this button here, it would open their summer camp page and this would be their summer camp page which would have a lot of buttons and links linking to their online bookings and payments form. So um, here we have all the details of the camp, uh, junior camp, senior camp, half day and full day options, the dates for the six weeks of camp, um, and down here then the pricing and discount section, uh, which runs through the half day and full day options, the discounts that are involved. So there's a 5% sibling discount and a 5% six week discount. And you click book online now or make an inquiry, um, lots of photos and videos of the camp itself. So if you do go to the online booking and payment option, this is the page that it will open. And on this page then, we have a full details of the age requirements, etc., for children that attend the camp. And uh, then a reminder of the pricing, then the camp dates, so they know exactly which ones that they want to book, and then the booking form itself. So, having a, a booking form uh, online for camp that takes payments uh, as well, uh, gives you some huge advantages in terms of running your camp itself. Um, it just makes it so much easier for parents and uh, I suppose one of the things we'll do is I'll just quickly run through why you'd want to do this in the first place. So top five reasons that I would want you to automate a, a summer camp and why I would want to automate one if I had one is number one, increased sales makes marketing your camp easier. It works on computer and mobile so it's uh, simple for everybody to use. So online orders equals more bookings. Uh, quite simply put, I used to work in a startup before where uh, members of the public would have to pay us uh, by cash, or by bank transfer, and as soon as we put up a website with all the details and put up online booking and payments where people could just pay by their card online, the uh, rate of sales and bookings just took off. Um, so it definitely makes a big difference in terms of the overall number that you end up with in terms of a monetary value at the end of your camp. So online orders equals more bookings, full week bookings, you can run Facebook, book ad campaigns and email marketing. So when I say full week book bookings, from talking to camp owners, one thing they've said is that parents, if you don't have um, some sort of a set system, they kind of want like a pick and mix system where they want to dictate uh, the hours that the child is going to attend, what days they're going to attend, um, uh, whether it's going to be for one week or two weeks or whatever, it's just too a la carte or whatever. Whereas if you have a system online, then they can only order from this. Uh, you can run Facebook ad campaigns for a boy. You can run ad campaigns to get in front of thousands of parents and then it would link straight to the summer camp page or the booking order form. You need them to be able to go somewhere if you want to convert them into paying customers. And then with email marketing, you can email out all the details of your camp uh, to parents and then just put one link into it. You want to increase profitability. So if you get more bookings and more full week bookings, essentially, then the same amount of staff and the same number of weeks can generate a greater revenue. So more revenue and less administration. So you'll see once we do a booking live, the, how the whole of the camp administration is done for you. You want to eliminate no shows. So camp owners have told me that sometimes parents will book their children in and then they just simply don't turn up. Um, and if they haven't already paid, uh, you never get that money back and you could have sold that place to someone else. And when they contact parents, it's because they went on holidays and never thought of notifying the school. Um, the, it reduces administration, so everything is automated. So you'll see it, it's pretty amazing that once the parent goes online and does the booking, everything is automated for you in terms of administra administration for the camp. And all that manual work they used to do will be gone. No more hours of office work. 
um, and no more chasing payments from parents uh, like you previously would have because they'll have just uh, paid online uh, and it makes it much easier for parents they're not having to go and set up a, an online bank transfer or go and take cash out of the bank or fill up paper forms and stuff paying online by card now is the norm um, and it's a painless way to transact and it's pretty much what everybody expects um, from camps these days so the bookie form itself is made up of two parts this part here is the parent part of the form and then once you add a child to this button here in the child part of the form the summary of your bookings appear up here so i filled in this one here already with um uh, just fake parent details uh, i did one child booking already and you see it added to here so what i'm going to do is it says john mccall is going to be the other child we'll click the add child button here and we'll just click in john mccall's details his age is going to be eight let's say his name of his primary school could be saint pius uh, there are specific reasons why they need the name of primary schools uh, in this school um, on their booking form and then the parent full name will be John McCall uh, they only take children who have completed one year of primary school already so that's what we've customized this form to we'll say he's in senior infants he's a boy and he's going to attend full day uh, that then opens up the weeks here for them to select and so if they select all six weeks, they get an extra discount. So you can see as I'm selecting a week here, one week full um, day is 230 euros. I select the second week, this changes to 460 euros. So this is a very advanced form that uh, you're getting in this service. It's as advanced the way it does on the flight calculations as an airline form, um, which was previously why it was so out of reach for camps um, in the past, but now we've built something that's much more affordable that we can uh, tailor to any camp. You can see down here that week six is four days. It calculates a different amount. And so the total amount here is 1360. They have a 5% discount if you, um, book six weeks or more and you can see how the discount has been applied here and a total of one two nine two if i took away take away one of the weeks the discount disappears put back in the week the discount reappears you click add child on the bottom please if it's a thing i forgot to put in so there is a box here to add in if the child has any medical or dietary issues that the camp needs to know about click add child and you'll see that uh, John McCall has been added to the second part of the booking. You could add one child to the booking. You can add 10 child children to the bookings. It doesn't matter. Uh, it can take any number of them. So what you've got out here then is a subtotal of 1938 because they also have 5% sibling discount on top of the 5% six week discount. It is calculated 5% off of the 1938 total here for uh, a final total of 1841. You click agree to the GDPR um, tick box here and the terms and conditions. You would put in your card number, the expiry date, the number on the back of the card, three digits, the name on the card, click submit, and that's it off the booking codes. So we're gonna be doing bookings in the other examples that we have, but not on this one because this is a live um, booking page that you can see here and down the bottom then are the terms and conditions for horizons camp it covers child ages additional needs acceptance cancellations collections behavior lost property everything so they're agreeing to this at the time of their booking as well so that's what it looks like in real life and what we're going to cover off in the video today so is the video demonstration that you'll see on our own website is the video that i'm recording now um the current schools that are using it, just showing you some examples of it, just like we saw there. The benefits of the form, the features of the form, the camp reports, uh, payment fees from Stripe, uh, which are the company that we connect to, to process the payments online. I'll show you how you can try the forms, common questions, and the free consultation that you can get if you have any questions about it. So, schools currently using the camp the cap form Horizons Montessori have been using it since 2019. Mulgar Montessori have been using it since 2022. Um, we're just uh, doing it this week for um, a school here in Cork um, and we're launching it out to the market um, in the next couple of weeks um, now that we have everything automated and all the reports ready to go in the background. So you can see that there's a pretty standard looking uh, payments page. We can uh, tailor it to whatever you need, but they most important part about all of this is the fact that everything is automated. So summer camps are great, but they come with a lot of work. Um, and what we've done is we've tried to take 
most of that administration work away. Um, so in the steps that it is the parents does the booking and the payment online. Do you need a website? Yes, ideally, if you had a website, we would put it on that. But if not, what we would do for you is we would go and we would put a summer camp page together like this. Um, and then it would link to a booking page like this, or you can just have the booking page itself. We'll host it for you. We'll put your school branding and colors onto the page. Um, so it'll look like something that's just coming from your school, but it'll be on a website of ours. So the parent books and pays online. What that does then is it immediately triggers um, the payment into Stripe and they process that payment uh, on behalf of the school. So there will be a Stripe account for the school. Then emails are then generated automatically, one to the school with all the booking details, and we'll be having a look at one of those, and then one to the parent who did the booking to the email address that they submitted during the booking. Then camp reports are updated. On Google Sheets, you'll see they're just like spreadsheets. Uh, every time a booking is done, it generates uh, a whole administration system and updates that in the background for the school. So everything you might have been doing on paper or everything you might have been doing manually on Microsoft Excel or anything like that is all going to be done automatically. All that work that you used to do will be gone and all you'll have to do is just log in every day and you'll be able to see your camp reports and who has booked, how many children, etc. And uh, once that is all done, then uh, Stripe will uh, issue the money from your Stripe account into your school bank account. It can be done on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, or on a monthly basis. So we'll be running through the camp booking and payment form itself. As I said before, it's split up into the paired form here and the child details form. And then we'll be looking at camp management reports. So you'll be able to know like within 20 seconds of a parent doing a booking, it'll update your camp report. Uh, you'll always know exactly uh, how many spaces are booked, how many spaces are left out of the capacity that you've got. You'll have all the uh, camp details there. Um, there's a separate service whereby we can promote your summer camp using Facebook ads uh, and things. And then there's the Stripe payment processing. All their fees will be on this payment page here in terms of that. But the best thing here is that you can go and try the forms for yourself. So we've come up with different types of forms for different types of camp settings. Uh, you'll just click these buttons here and they'll open um, demo forms that we've set up. You put in uh, demo information into it and then you'll be able to see the actual um, administration getting updated in the background itself. So also, if you didn't want to make your camp forms public, uh, this is Mullingar Montessori, and they also use the booking system, but they do it in a slightly different way. So rather than them having it public, so like if you're on Horizons camp page here, you can click the booking form, um, and after they have it opened up to the public, anybody from the public then can come and book here uh, in relation to that. But for Mulgar, they uh, take inquiries first and then they can send the link to their booking form and payments page uh, afterwards once they have reviewed the inquiries to make sure the children are fit the age profile, etc., for their camp. So you would see here that they would have a button here that says inquiry form and then a child, sorry, a parent would fill up the inquiry form with the, the details that they're interested in. Um, so you don't have to have it um, public facing if uh, you don't uh, necessarily wish to have that. So in the background then, what you're going to have is Google Drive and Google Drive is a service from Google whereby you can store documents and your administration system is going to be stored on Google Drive in the background and it'll be linked up to a Gmail address associated with your school. And Stripe will be the people who will do the payments infrastructure and we'll be looking at what that looks like in the background once a booking is made. So the simplest way to often uh, do this is you'll be able to do this yourself as well and I'm going to run you through your demo and we're going to show you exactly what the front end looks like and then exactly what the back end will look like. So this is just a, a fake one that uh, we've done up in one of the demonstration for purposes. We're going to fill in this booking form here and then once we have the booking form filled in we're going to show you how it looks like when it comes to camp reporting in the back end. That'll be all set up for you. So this would be an example of the reporting that would be in the background for one of the camp booking forms. So this would be like a management view here on the front, on a front page. And the easiest thing to show you first is what this camp would be like. 
So in this type of camp, this would be a multi-location camp. So if it would be one location is in Rathfarnham, half day and full day options. Uh, the other location is in Klonski in a half day and full day option in this demonstration. Um, it would be an eight week camp, I think. Yeah. For two locations, a half and full day options, different location pricing. So the pricing of camp in Rathfarnham for a half day is 95 euros and the pricing for Klonski for a half a day is 110 euros. So I tried to make as many different variables as possible just to show you that the camp uh, calculations can handle anything. Um, there's a 5% sibling discount and a 5% discount for booking six weeks or more. Um, and then in the form here, that's what you've got. So that's what dictates how I built this reporting system in the back. And this reporting system will come tailored to your camp depending on your camp's um, requirements. This front sheet here gives you a kind of a helicopter view of what's exactly happening. So in this top box here, what we've got is all locations. It shows us the revenue that has come through so far from the bookings, the amount of discount that was applied for siblings, the revenue that was there before siblings discount, what the average payment was um, for each booking, what the average revenue per child booked is the number of bookings that have taken place and the number of children that have come through on those bookings. And then just underneath that, it splits it out by the two locations, the first one here for Klonski and the second one for Rathfarnham. And in the Klonski view here, it says 11 children have been booked already for a subtotal of 8,070 euros. Discounts applied to them, which would be the six plus week bookings of 343 euros, leaves you with a total of 7,727 euros. The average revenue per child in Klonski is 702.45, and the average number of weeks booked per child in Klonski is 4.55 weeks. And then it comes over here and it says, here's the week's breakdown. The total capacity you have for all your weeks is 560. And you say 560 sounds like a big number. That's the number of weeks that you've got across the eight weeks of camp. So the capacity set here has been 70 places and 70 places every week across eight weeks will give you a total capacity of 70 multiplied by eight gives you a total number of 560 places. So the total book so far is 50 and then places remaining is 510. And then it breaks it down by the individual weeks themselves. So if you take week three, there are 70 places, seven have been booked already and 63 are remaining. And every time a booking takes place, all these numbers all change to reflect the new booking and how it has affected the totals. And exact same thing down here then for Rathfarnham, broken it down. So then along the bottom of the report here, you have these tabs. And as you click through these tabs, they open different parts of the report for the detail that you will need to run your camp. So the first thing here is children at Farnham. So this means that when a parent does a booking, they, um, let's say they have one child that's going to Rathfarnham and one child is going to Klonski. Another way of thinking about it is this same sort of system could be applied to one location, but one child might be going to music camp, another child might be going to sports camp, another child might be going to um, arts and crafts camp. Um, and you can split them up. It doesn't have to just be by location. It could be by the type of camp that they're going to attend as well. In this case here for Rathfarnham, what we've got is it's split out as well. The same type of idea here, whereby the weeks are broken down by capacity, the number of places booked and the places remaining. And uh, you can see here the locations for Farnham, it lists the child's name, their age, their gender, whether they're going to attend half day or full day, which weeks that they have booked, whether they have any medical issues you need to know about, the amount for that child the, uh, in money, the, term, the discount terms, and then the total that was uh, sent from that child forward to the parent part of the form. Then the parent's name here, the average number of weeks per child uh, booked, the average revenue per child, uh, the number of children booked here. These boxes up here are what are linked to in the front management reports. Um, and that's how it's all calculated. So you can see that the parent and the child always appear on every sheet and that's how we link one to the other in case you need to contact them. Same thing here, here for Klonski. It shows you all the same types of details um, for those. Uh, then you have all the children will appear here on one sheet and you can filter them through um, half day and full day and location, uh, anything that you so wish to do. Uh, all the parents then are all listed on this sheet here. Parent details. 
uh, the date that they made the booking, uh, which location their children are attending, whether it's both locations or one or the other, the uh, parent's name, their phone number, their email address, their um, home address, uh, a second contact, um, the number of children on their booking, their children's names, the subtotal from their booking, the discount um, for siblings, uh, total payment, then the payment status, whether the payment is um, gone through or not, uh, the GDPR and the terms and conditions uh, up here. Uh, what you've got then is the breakthrough of the parents by one location, Clon Ski, and the other location, Rathfarnham. And that's how this master report works in the background. So you can see that when you used to have to do all this manually, now everything is done automatically for you. So let's do a booking. So I filled in uh, details already. The parents' full name is Jane McCall. Here's her phone number. Uh, I put in uh, our own Gmail address here in um, School of South Ireland. It's not our advertised address. It's just one you use internally. But I want to show you what the bookings look like when they come in through in the back. The parent address then, the second contact detail, second phone number, the two children here I said will be Lavinia McCall and Owen McCall. Uh, I clicked here for both locations and I filled in Lavinia McCall that she would attend for uh, weeks two through seven, which would be six weeks that would get her a 5% discount. She's going to be half day in Rathfarnham. The amount is 560, discount of 28 for a total of 532 euros. Now, if a parent wanted to come along and say, oh, I'm after making a mistake on the booking, there's an edit and delete button appears here. You can just click on edit and it'll bring you back into Lavinia's uh, booking here. We could add um, uh, week eight onto the booking here if we so wanted. Click edit child down here in the corner and you can see that week eight has been added down here onto the booking. It has changed the amount and all of this. And if we want to take that off, if they say, oh, okay, we uh, did that by mistake, you just come back in, uh, click edit child again uh, and it does it like that. So then we're going to have Owen McCall for the second location. So if we had Lavinia that's going to attend Rafarnum, we'll put Owen in for Klonsky. So we'll just quickly add Owen in here. His age is, we'll say he's eight. He's a boy. Parent name is Jane McCall. The location is going to be Klonski. And when Klonski is selected, then you get to choose junior, senior camp, and half day or full day attendance. If we were uh, selecting Rafarnum, it would only open one extra box because there is no junior and senior camp in Rathfarnham. So you can see how customizable it is depending on what they do um, if we'll uh, cover off all this. So Klonski, let's go for senior camp, let's go for full day and you can see the price then changes here. It says it's 220 per week, 175 for week five because week five is only four days instead of five. So we'll just put in here that uh, he's going to attend for um, week five and week six. Um, oh, sorry, week six and week seven. And we'll put on here no issues. And we'll click add child. So he's been added down here. Um, there's a subtotal, there's a discount. Um, then it applies the total here. The extra discount is being applied down here because there's 5% discount for siblings. And then what we move into then is a GDPR agreement. You just tick, I agree for GDPR, I agree for the terms and conditions. Uh, the terms and conditions are linked to down here and you can put any terms and conditions to do with your camp uh, here that you so wish. So then what I've inserted here into the form is uh, test details that you can just copy. Uh, so that you can complete a booking for yourself. Um, and it just tells you what to key in here. So what it just says here is just use this as your credit card number and you can just paste that in there. Uh, the month and year can be any month and year once it's any month and year in the future. So I can go 0525, that would be May 2025. The CVC would be one, two, three, or any three digits. And then zip only appears in these test forms. It doesn't appear in the Irish forms, um, but it's any five digits. So I just go one, two, three, four, five. And then the cardholder name would be Jane McCall. And what we're going to do now is we're going to click submit. But before we click submit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the master um, file here and we're going to watch it actually populate in real time so this is a list of all the children that are booked into camp so you're going to see the children's details appear here once i click on the booking part here 
So everything up here should be correct. We're going to click submit. This takes generally around 10 seconds. And I'm going to click over to the master sheet here and it's these two rows here that we want to keep an eye on. And they should now auto populate in a few seconds with Owen and Lavinia McCall. There's Lavinia after coming through and there's Owen after coming through. So you can see how fast it works and that this is all done for you. It's it, like the schools that are using it are just amazed by when they think back to how they manually used to do everything. So in the master report, the uh, details would have been updated here in terms of the revenue, uh, Klansky and Rathfarnham numbers. Children for Rathfarnham here now features Lavinia because she has been added to the uh, Rathfarnham one, all her weeks here. I put in a comment about slight asthma um, and stuff just to show you how the medical piece works and her paired detail is over here. Then in the uh, Klansky uh, reports, you'll see that Owen has been added here. He's going to go to Klansky and his details have been populated across here. Both of them are in the um, all children's sheet and then in the parents sheet, you'll see that uh, Jane McCall has been added here uh, and John McCall, the second contact, his details are uh, in here as well. And you've got the two children. Then for parents Klonsky, you'd see that Jane would be in there and Jane would also be in parents Rafarna because she booked a child into both of them. So what does this then do once the form is submitted besides populating this? Well, what it does is it also populates an email that goes to the school and an email that goes to the parent. So this is the school website, sorry, the Gmail account. So if I refresh this, it'll bring up the booking confirmation. So this would be the one that I put in for the parent. So this is the email that the parent would get and it would say, Dear Jane McCall, this is to confirm your booking. And it shows exactly the details that they put in and it breaks it out here in terms of both children uh, the GDPR and the terms and conditions that they uh, agreed to. It lists the terms and conditions that they agreed to at the bottom of the mail here and all the calculations and the amount that they paid here. The same thing goes to the school. So I have this pointed uh, at one of our own email addresses here and this same email comes through um, to the school. So the school gets notified uh, by email as well with the exact same details there. And then in Stripe, let me minimize this for you. We go into Stripe and Stripe again are the payment processor that the form is connected to. And then inside in Stripe here, uh, what we're going to do is these are, sorry, if you're in your homepage in Stripe, this is what it would look like. And it would tell you that we're in test mode up here. So these are obviously not live payments. So it tells you here's your gross volume of payments that have taken place today. You click into the payments up on top here and it'll show you here's Jane McCall's payment that we were talking about. You click into Jane McCall's payment and it gives you all the details of payment here, the commission. So the commission here fee is uh, not the correct commission that would be calculated as normal. Test commissions are higher, it's just what the test form does. Um, we'll explain uh, the normal commissions at the end. So you've got uh, the details for payment here. But an important point to note here is that if you took a payment from a parent and they came along then afterwards and said, look, we want to change. Um, we're going to be going on holidays to Spain. Can we reduce down from four weeks to two weeks? Um, and you do a recalculation. Previously, you'd have to have tried to go to the bank to refund a payment or give them cash or it would be a mess. But up here in the top right hand corner here, you see this refund button. You click refund and here it's saying that they paid 923.40. Do you want to do that refund? You could refund the whole amount or you could have calculated and you say, no, we're just refunding 200 euros um, or for um, whatever amount it's going to be. So we're going to key in 200 euros. It says select a reason and you just say requested by customer. And you could click this purple button here and that would just process the refund for 200 euros um, and or any amount. A nominal amount, 50 quid, half the amount, full amount. Uh, you can add more details here if you so wish. And what it's just saying then is that refunds take five to 10 days to appear on a customer statement. So you would just process this refund. You would have clicked that purple button and you would tell the parent, I processed the refund for you a full or partial refund and it'll take five to ten days to go back into your card and that's it done for you as a school so you can see uh, just how good that is 
when you do the booking uh, as a demo on the as a, on the test forms on our site, um, it will open a booking confirmed page as it would do on a regular website uh, for a school. And over here on the right, uh, we put well. We, first of all, we put in extra text here to say you know you can go and look at the bookings now in the back end. So it says to view the automated booking system that generates the summer camp, camp administration on Google Sheets. Click here, and when you click that orange text, what it does is it opens up the. Um, reports that we were looking on, at already. So when you put in your own details and you uh, do one of these tests on our website, you are able to then go and look at the reports. Now, when you go and look at the reports in the back, you won't be able to edit anything in the reports. You can only view them, but if you were the school, you'd have access to be able to go and edit the reports themselves. So you're just gonna be able to have a look at them, but it means that you're able to see everything um, beforehand. <coughs> so, we have three demos on the site, but as I said before, we can do it for anything. You know, in the first demo, it was multiple locations with multiple types of discount. In the second demo here, what it gives is, uh, it's a smaller camp, six weeks instead of eight, uh, one location, they have junior and senior, um, and the one discount that they have is for siblings. They don't have multiple week uh, discounts in this. Uh, and again, you'll see here, um, you just fill in your details and it will then go and populate the details into the back. So their reports are a little bit different then. So you can see how customized we make this for each different type of scenario. So here, what they've got in the back is that instead of having different locations, we've split it out between the different types of camps. So we split it between senior camp and junior camp. Uh, in another real world example, like I said before, it could be split between music camp and sports camp. Um, and exactly the same types of details that you'll see here. You can do these bookings on our website and you can come in and you can see these exact reports as they appear in the back here as well. You can see that the children's um, details are all populated into the second sheet. Um, then they're split between junior camp and senior camp. <coughs> Sorry. And then the parents' details are here. But what's important and different in this one is imagine this was your camp. This is your booking form, but in your school, you have an after school um, service. So let's say Horizons here have got a homework club, which they do in real life. And they have two options for a homework club. You attend the homework club. Um, uh, this is for primary school children to attend uh, once they're finished school. And there is a 10 month option and a 12 month option. And the 10 month option uh, is uh, a service whereby you attend for the school year and you don't attend during the summer. And the 12 month option is whereby you attend all year round, including summer camp. So if that was the case, what I've done is I've incorporated that idea into demo two. So uh, how that works is that when you have children that are appearing, attending all year round, you need to include them in your summer camp numbers. And that's what I've done. So these children here would be ones that would attend the after school service all year round. So they would be there for full days and for all six weeks of summer camp. So your camp needs to take that into account. So we've configured all the reports here so that uh, first thing we do before camp starts, or it could be while camp's going on, it's fully, customizable either way is we add in the children that are going to be there anyway and then underneath them every time a new um, person is added they would get uh, added into the camp underneath so the last person here is Keen McCall um, what I'll do is I'll complete uh, this booking here for demo 2 this is Lavinia McCall um, we'll just click I agree I agree we'll copy the card details in there, 0, 5, 25, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the parent's name was Jane McCall. We click Submit. I'll show you it's submitting here actually on the front end this time. Um, you know that we're looking for Lavinia McCall when we're going to the back end anyway, to show you that once it's completed, it will open the booking conf confirmed page. And you'll see then that you'll click the click button here 
Um, a normal parent won't see this. This is just for school owners to see on these demo versions. They'll just see something like you've now booked summer camp, uh, congratulations, and you can put any sort of information that you want in here. What I'd often encourage people to put in here is information about telling what your child needs to bring for summer camp, sun cream, all that sort of stuff. You can put that in the terms and conditions and the email that goes to the parent as well. So this is the master in the background. And you can see that Lavinia has appeared now down at the bottom um, of the children's listing here. Um, uh, we put Lavinia in for junior camp half day. So Lavinia would also have appeared on the junior camp uh, page here, but she doesn't appear on the senior camp because she's not booked into junior camp. She's only booked into junior. So you can see how the numbers are all uh, updated here. Um, and that means that you can have a mix in your reports with the people who attend all year round can be pre-populated in there. And then on the same report, it will auto uh, fill in all these other ones here as well. So there's the senior camp and there uh, you'll see that Jane McCall has appeared in here uh, in terms of that as well and that we would have um, another email in here and uh, that would be the Jane McCall one for the other summer camp and you can see that everything happens in a matter of seconds. So then we put together a third demo and this third demo would be the most basic of them all. It's one location, it's a four week camp, there are no discounts involved um, and I've pre-populated in Lavinia here into this one as well. Um, I click uh, agree here, we will add these details into the bottom, 0525, 123, 12345, Jane McCall, click submit, it'll take about 10 seconds. What's happening during these 10 seconds is you click submit and your payment details is going from the website off to Stripe and Stripe are confirming those card details in this case the test um, and then the book and confirm part comes up here then. So you'll see then that if we go into the children's demo here um, what you get is Lavinia just appeared just there about two seconds ago and then Jane McCall the parent uh, has appeared here um, and in this master report it's a simpler one. So you've got your summary of your revenue, your average payment, average revenue per child, the number of bookings so far, the number of children in the bookings. Um, and then we just give um, a brief synopsis here of the weeks. So the capacity, the total booked and the places remaining. Because there's no difference between junior and senior camp in this one, all of the children just go into um, one camp there in relation to that. And that's how the bookings work. So where do you go from here? Uh, I suppose what we just wanted to do was to give you a, um, a demonstration on exactly how the forms work. Um, they're a massive time saver um, and they definitely increase um, uh, sales for your camp because that's what we want. We want more revenue, we want more profitability. So you'll probably have some more questions in terms of how you could get this for your camp, pricing that surrounds it and things like that as well. Oh, just before I forget, one thing we didn't cover off was actually uh, what pricing uh, there is when it comes to Stripe. So uh, this is the current Stripe pricing and then it's going to be changing in April. Um, so currently, uh, once a payment goes through, it's 1.4% of the payment plus 25 cents per transaction is equal to a subtotal plus 23% VAT is the total processing fee. So an example there, if a parent pays um, 100 euros, then uh, two euros and three cents of that would go to Stripe, um, which is 2.03% of the payment. So the higher the payment, then the smaller the percentage. So if a parent had paid a thousand euros, then 17 euros 53 of that goes to Stripe, which is 1.75% of the payment. So um, you can see how it's calculated here. We have the details on our website. Come April, 1.4% uh, is actually increasing to 1.5% uh, with Stripe. Um, and that is happening sometime around the middle of April this year. Um, and they're the fees that come through from Stripe. Uh, uh, they deduct that and then they send you the balance to your school bank account and that's how the Stripe part of things works. So uh, what I encourage you to do now is to um, 
get in touch with us if you want more information in relation to this service. Um, you can book a free 30 minute consultation with myself. Uh, there's a free consultation button here on our website up in the top. Once you click that, it'll open up the consultation page uh, to book a consultation. Then if you wanted to book one, let's say for Monday, you would just click Monday. Um, it will open up the various times that are available. Let's say you picked midday on Monday and clicked confirm. You put in your first name, your last name and your email. Um, you can add guests here if you want more than one person to be on the call. It can be by a phone call, it can be by Zoom or it can be in person at our offices or if your school is located not too far from our offices, we can come to your school if you so wish. Uh, add your phone number in here and then the name and location of your preschool, after school or camp uh, and you click schedule event and that'll come through to me. I'll contact you then to let you know that that's come straight through. Or you can just go to our contact us page. Our contact details are there. You can phone us, um, drop us an email. Uh, this number is actually changing now. Um, so by the time you see this, it'll be a different number because we're moving to a, a voice over IP system on the internet. Um, you can drop us an email to hello at swi.ie um, and that'll come through to us then. Um, there'll be no um, sales stuff. Uh, we don't believe in that. Um, what we um, do is we just answer your questions you tell us about your school and we can tell you about the options that are available to you the costs involved the lead times uh, how long it would take and things like that so um uh i suppose uh, as you've made it to the end of this video what's it been a little over 40 minutes um a long time but uh hopefully time well spent because you'll see exactly what's there i give uh, anybody one tip for um there is summer camp is um first up best dressed so if your summer camp is going to be on in July and August, I would encourage you to have it open for bookings in February um, because the earlier you get your camp open, the more revenue you will have because you will have taken bookings from parents before other camps were even open and ready. Um, obviously having online bookings is really important. Just by having online bookings, uh, you'll increase the number of bookings that you're taking. But another also very important thing is that you're taking full week bookings. You'll have seen on the forums there that it's really important that the options are dictated by the school and it isn't a pick and mix a la carte service that parents are contacting you. And I've seen the emails and I, I, I was surprised when I would see some of them or whatever, just how specific some parents want to be in dictating the service that they want from summer camp. And the idea of having um, an online bookings piece is the fact that you are saying it's junior camp, it's senior camp, here are the hours, here are the days that they're on. You can only book a full week um, and here are the discounts that apply. So there's no negotiations. It's just very straightforward. And once you have a system like that in place and all your admin system in the back end or whatever, you're running a much more professional looking operation um, and people will tend to respect exactly what you've uh, put in place. So they'll know then that, you know, I can only book for a full week. Now, you can also have it as well, whereby if you want to, um, have a system whereby you want to be more flexible, um, then uh, this would be something that I could show you as well. So you could have st a system whereby you still take payments, um, but maybe they're an ad hoc payment. So maybe uh, somebody can't book through the um, website booking form because you've given them some sort of uh, custom arrangement where they're going to be letting their child attend for full days but three days a week Monday Tuesday Wednesday across two weeks and you go back to them and you say listen that's going to be um, it's going to be 400 euros whatever the amount is going to be or whatever we can set up a payment link on your site or a payment page for you they just click this button and then they'll be able to key in that 400 euros here so Here's a custom payment box here. We've this set up for Horizons. They can take a custom payment for anything at any time. Um, and you just click in your 400 here and then the parent will put in their email address, put in their phone number. They can pay here by card, put in their card details or they can pay by um, their uh, bank account using their IBAN, which has cheaper fees um, than it does if they're paying by card. Um, and that can be done as well. So it's not just, it doesn't have to be completely rigid. We can also build the forms and they don't have to take payments. You could take the booking online. You could have all the administration flow through to the back end, just like what we looked like, but you don't have to take payment. You can still take it by cash or bank transfer if you so wished um, uh, separately to that. So it doesn't always have to be as 
uh, rigid as what you've seen in the examples here. So that's what I'd say, get in contact with us. Um, there's lots of options there and it's not just for summer camps. It could be Easter camp, it could be Halloween camp, it could be for a school trip. Um, we can build these payment forms um, specifically for anything like that. And I mean, on our own website, um, uh, we have um, <coughs> got specific um, booking and payment options on another service page. It is online payments um, and we can build any type of custom payment form uh, that you're looking for, for recurring payments, for one-off payments, for ones that take a deposit and then a recurring payment. There is literally no end to the different types of uh, payment forms that can be put together um, in terms of that. I mean, um, a fixed amount payment form on a school website, um, recurring payment forms uh, to pay weekly, monthly, daily, um, everything um, can be done to automate everything and make your life uh, as easy as possible. So um, get in touch, no sales pressure, it'll just be a chat, um, answer your questions and you can decide then afterwards if you wish to proceed and any more information we could give you in relation to that. Thanks very much for listening. I know it's been a bit of a long video, but I hope that you'll have picked up some information along the way that can hopefully make your life a little bit easier in terms of you and your camp. Um, get in touch with us. Uh, the best part of the job is chatting to the schools. And even if you uh, don't proceed or don't buy anything, you'll still pick up some helpful tips uh, in terms of promoting and selling your summer camp. Um, and it's also always valuable for us as well. The more schools we talk to, the more we're able to tailor the services that we offer and understand exactly what you're looking for. So thanks very much. And uh, I will speak to you soon.